first of all, he didn't provide you with any uh, details or any documentation supporting the amounts he claimed were paid. But let the Prime Minister disclose proper records. Well, someone with access to the government's financial records seems to have accepted the former Prime Minister's challenge. They've released payment details between the government and the law firms connected to him and those of his family. We can't say with 100% certainty that these disclosures are from the Ministry of Finance. However, they certainly resemble records that would come from the government of Belize, including line item listings that look like abbreviations for the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Natural Resources. The government makes thousands of payments every month and generates bi-monthly payroll for all public servants through the system. The extensive research conducted to compile these lists of payments to the Barrow family of law firms over 13 years of the Barrow administration is apparent. We just refer to them as officially unofficial leaks from within the Ministry of Finance and the government. Let's take a closer look at the payments made to Barrow and Williams. In his letter to UDP's Michael Perifit, Prime Minister John Bresenia says, quote, Over the period of his, the former Barrow government's administration, the government paid Barrow and Williams almost $5 million, of which almost $1.3 million was paid in legal fees. The difference, it appears, is primarily in connection with the former Prime Minister's law firm securing payments by the UDP government to his law firm's clients, for land acquisitions by the government, end quote. From the leaked document, $3.621 million is identified as payment going as far back as 2011, all the way to December 2020. They are labeled payment towards land acquisitions. Former PM Barrow insists that all those cannot be treated as his government paying his law firm for legal fees. He asserts that in the cases in which the government was sued by another third party, those litigants retained Barrow and Williams as their legal representation. As a litigant, the government paid Barrow and Williams, which was obliged to hand over those funds to their clients. With respect to Barrow and Williams, he said we were paid millions of dollars as lawyers for clients that sued the government of Belize and won and so had to receive compensation. How can you say there is anything improper with Barrow and Williams, in fact, collecting money from the government for and on behalf of, of, of clients? The ones in dispute, however, are under another list of payments which adds up to $1.258 million. If you add both sums, 3.62 mil for all those land cases, and 1.258 mil, that equals $4.87 million, which lines up with PM Bresenio's claim that almost $5 million were paid to Barrow and Williams. But how exactly does PM Bresenio justify his reasoning that almost $1.3 million was paid in legal fees? The first three payments from 2008, totaling a little more than $70,000, are all corrections. Two refunds and a compensation to Charlene MacDonald, who is most likely a former client of Barrow and Williams. The fourth is for, quote, payment for deposit for auction 527-20, $10,812. There are 22 payments for a total of a little under $810,000, spanning from 2012 all the way to 2020. It is unclear what the government was paying Baron Williams for, but invoice numbers are listed. Or it says, payment for claim number X, Y, or Z. Because they don't specifically say payment for services rendered to the government of Belize, Dean Barrow insists that Prime Minister Bresenia was being misleading to make the leap in logic that those were lawyer fees. Barrow has conceded that there have been instances which he labels as emergencies that his government had to turn to his law firm for legal services. There are two payments of over $90,000 each for appeal cases, one made in 2017 and another in 2019. When I was Prime Minister, Barrow and Williams may have gotten something here, something there in extremely exigent cir uh, circumstances. They were not go to lawyers and would not have been, I was clear about that, would not have been for the government of Belize as long as I was Prime Minister. There are also four other vague payments to a total of almost $368,000, which are labeled as reimbursements or refunds. There is no explanation why those reimbursements or refunds were necessary. Reporting for 7 News, Daniel Ortiz.